And it's not to say the same phenomena occurs with every exorcist. I certainly have the victim at the moment of liberation, uh, sometimes see the Blessed Mother, sometimes see a saint or see Jesus. Sometimes they don't see anything. Uh, but, but what you see is an immediate difference in the eyes that, that you, you, you see the person and, and that's the best way I can describe it. You know, throughout an exorcism, I'm looking into the eyes of the victim. I'm looking at something that is inhabiting them that has a definite personality. When that personality leaves, it's unmistakable. 